This is a long time ago, I downloaded the test drawings from other YouTube bloggers. This drawing is very professional, but I rarely use it, do you know why? All the tests of this drawing takes 56 minutes. However, this is only the default size test time. If I change the size to the size suitable for i4 plywood, it needs to spend longer, 1 hour and 25 minutes. This test is only suitable for the working environment where the carving material is relatively fixed. If you don't want to wait too long for the test, or if you have many novel materials to try carving, I suggest you prepare a drawing like this. Double-click the layer to enter the settings editor, and then ensure that the image mode is grayscale. Little tips, in grayscale mode, different brightness in the image can control the laser to emit different power laser. In dithering mode, the laser can only output the highest power of light, and different brightness of the image can control the number of output light. Atkinson, Dither, Stucky and Jarvis all belong to dithering mode, but the algorithm is different. Back to the test, grayscale, click OK, to save. Usually, 100mm width is sufficient, the wider the width, the higher the accuracy. This test uses Sculptfun S30 Pro 10W for testing. The linear guide rail of S30 supports us to use the maximum speed of 6000mm per minute. The default speed limit of all Sculptfun engraving machine models is locked to 6000mm per minute. You can modify the upper limit speed in the machine settings, find X max rate and modify it. Please pay attention to the conversion of different units. Do not set too high speed, which may cause damage to the machine. After writing to the main board, click OK to save. If you are always carving at high speed, you must clean up the sliding rail regularly and apply lubricating oil. Back to the parameter settings, the speed of 6000 is enough to me. Carving is usually carved only once. The maximum power is set to 100. If you can determine that the lower power can complete the carving, you can also set lower. I usually maintain the default interval. The minimum power is set to zero. Make sure the air assist is turned off and then set the laser starting point to the lower left corner of the drawing. Let's start testing from acrylic. Measure the side length, 300 millimeters. Focusing. Laser alignment at the bottom of acrylic. Use fire function auxiliary. The test should be at the edge of the material as much as possible, and the blank area can still be used for creative work. 100 millimeters is enough, and it is convenient for calculating power. But I am going to use 300 millimeters for testing, for higher accuracy. Check the scope of carving. As long as the carving effect is enough to observe, you can terminate the test directly. Back to the original point and move upward, so that we can observe and continue testing. If you want to sculpt the pure black pattern or use a jitter mode carving picture, it is simple. Find the area with the most obvious traces, and calculate the power of this area. If you want to use grayscale to carve, the difficulty will be higher. You must ensure that the carving effect has a long enough color transition. Looking at the test effect, 10%-39% has a transition, but the effect is average. Best color transition is linear, but 15%-35% on the renderings is very flat. There is even a depression between 20% and 30%. I am curious whether the cooling effect brought by Air Assist can make the effect transition longer and more obvious. I don't feel much different, which one you prefer? I mark the parameters below, so that the video progress well faster. Third time, for the more obvious effect, the maximum power is 50%. I think air assistance is not helpful, so I turn it off. This test is equal to the first half of the first test, but more accurate. Now, I have a new idea. In my opinion, a higher speed, the laser stay is shorter, and the color transition may be stretched longer. So I increased their speed to 9000 mm per minute, and the power was restored to 100%. Before viewing the results, we cover test 2 and test 3 to avoid visual affected. We are now back to test 1, please find out the areas that you think are suitable as the maximum power and minimum power. Now refer to the scaled ruler to confirm the parameters. Now come to test 4, please make the same judgment. 
If the effective transition range of 4 is wider, this shows that its color level will be more richer, more suitable for grayscale carving. Let me confirm the parameters. The maximum power is 52% and the minimum power is 7%. Now starting the real work, I wrote the parameters in advance on the picture. Set the picture as wide as acrylic. Ackley is black and the effect of carving is white. We need to reverse the color of the picture. Double a click to enter the cut settings editor. Open negative image. Now confirm the parameters according to the annotation of the picture. Draw a frame slightly smaller than the picture and cut it down. The edges are rough, which may be because of the noise of the image. Put the acrylic back, we start dither carving on the back. The color is still in reverse mode, so no further adjustment is needed. Modify the grayscale to dither. Check parameters. The noise of the image has little impact on the carving. So, you prefer which carving effect? I am sorry for previous tests, it may have some mistakes. Tests 1, 2, 3 were tested at the same time, test 4 was later added, some parameters of test 4 may have errors. In theory, the speed of test 4 is higher, so the minimum power of test 4 should not be lower than the minimum power of test 1. Now I retest 1 and 4 at same time. This test is correct, and the color transition is stretched to the right. Next, I will try again with cowhide. Its width is 100 millimeters. Don't forget to close the negative image, change the image mode to grayscale. You can also modify the speed and power here. Cowhide is easy to receive laser, so the maximum power can be reduced appropriately. I set it to 50%. The focus distance should be uniform and accurate, which is very important for testing in low power regions. Similarly, you can stop manually when the test results are enough to observe. If the transition is too short, grayscale engraving is not recommended, and dither engraving is simpler. The higher the power, the easier the cowhide will be damaged and ash will be dropped. Try to choose the area with low power. The maximum power is 50%, multiplied by 20% equal to 10%. Draw a rectangle as large as cowhide as a range box, and turn off its laser output. Draw a straight line and cut off the test part. Place the image in the right place. Change the image mode to dither. Change parameters. 
It is easy to burn the cowhide with high power, so you can cut it many times with low power. This is a wrong operation, you'd better move it after confirming that the cutting is completed. If you have problems and opinions on the content of the video, please leave a message in the comment area. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel.